Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. Today we have a BNB solar inverter. And if we have a look at the screen of this one, we've got a fault off warning. And up here we've got a picture of the solar panels. We've got a green light beside that. So it's seeing power from the solar panels. But we, then we've got a picture of the inverter and a picture of the grid. And there's no light on in there, which means it's not actually working. It's not actually turning the solar power into usable AC power. And we can see the alarm light is on there. Now, if you see here, we've got a picture of an, a knock. So if you, with the B&B inverters, if you knock on the screen like so, or near it, it should go through the different readings. So you can see here, it's coming up with a fault message, which is showing, which uh, is saying grid fault. So in this case, this B&B &B inverter is not seeing any power from the electricity grid. So because because of that it's it's turned off and it's waiting for the grid to be reconnected so it can start operation again so what we need to do is find out why it is showing a grid fault so the first thing we'd recommend you do is check your solar supply main switch and your switchboard is turned on it's not turned off if you have an inverter ac isolator like this one here make sure it's in the on position you see up is usually on and circuit breakers down is off this one's in the on position and if you check those things, also check um, that the AC cable which goes in the inverter looks like it's all in there correctly, there's no problems there. If you've checked all those things and you also um, make sure you are not experiencing a blackout at the time, that you do have power from the street. If you checked all those things and you're still having the grid fault error message on your inverter like this one and the alarm lights lit, I would recommend you get in contact with a local solid accredited electrician to help you further because it, it could be a problem with uh, like one of the circuit breakers with the cabling somewhere something like that and it will require an electrician to to assist you in uh, finding out what the fault is so if you're on the gold coast or southeast queensland gold coast solar power solutions can certainly help with an issue like this if you're somewhere else around the world i'd recommend getting in contact with a local solar accredited electrician to assist you further thanks for watching this video i hope it's been helpful for you